everyone. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and I'm here to do a quick recap of the yarn that we dyed on Dye Pot Weekly's birthday. This was a live stream of Leave No Dye Behind, and we had leftover dye powder that was mixed with citric acid, some salt, and some sugar sprinkles. And we created this really beautiful fade set in one pan by laying things out and then applying the yarns like with more of the blue on one side, more of the black on the inside, and a mix in the middle. And this was so fun that there is no question I will be playing around with this more in the future. We did have some dye left over from that leave no dye behind and so then we layered the two colors on top of each other in a way in liquid form um, we dissolved the powders um, rather than dissolving it directly on the yarn here we dissolved it a bit first and poured it on and we created a tonal with some beautiful depth to it and it's fun how sort of like warm or not warm but how such a cool gray sort of came out of the same mixture of the black and blue and really is making me think that maybe sometime I need to do a live stream where I pick two colors and see all the different kinds of colorways I can create starting with those colors. Let me know what you think in the comments. The only thing that bugs me about this colorway is this bright green dot. And that must be because that blue is not you know, just one color, there's a little bit of this green, and just this one patch sort of remained. There are some hints um, in here of the green, but they're more covered up. And so that's the one thing that sort of, I don't know, I'm not a fan of. But when you are dealing with dry powders, you do need to realize that there can be some rogue colors that come out. Uh, some colors like Jacquard Purple, seem to be made up of a mixture of red and blue speckles, but, you know, other colors might just have a handful of a different color that all of a sudden will pop out when you're dealing with the dry powders, and so it's just something to keep in mind of with that you might get some fun surprises like this with that kind of technique. Gosh, as a fade set, this trio is just stunning, and I am so, so happy with it. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for tuning in to live streams like that one. It is so fun to chat with you and answer questions while I'm going about doing all the things that I normally do just behind the camera. So if you want to make sure that you don't miss an impromptu or scheduled live stream in the future, make sure that you are subscribed and press that bell icon to have your notifications turned on. And then YouTube theoretically should let you know when I'm about to start a new live stream. Beyond that, I post at least two new videos every single week on Tuesday and Friday mornings, and we have special series coming up. On December 22nd, Hanukkah begins, and so the 2019 Hanukkah special will begin as well. Each night after sundown in my time zone, I will release a new yarn dyeing video that you can enjoy as a holiday gift from me to you. Uh, Pre-orders for the yarn sampler featuring yarn from this series are available through the Chemnitz Creations Etsy shop. Um, there'll be a link to that in the video description and iCard. The biggest way that you can help support the content on this channel is by watching, commenting, liking the videos that I share. That helps more people see them and honestly is the most supportive thing that you could do, period. But if you are looking for other things, there's tons of yarn featured in my videos in my Etsy shop, and I also have a Patreon where I give patrons early access to new videos, they can get shout outs, advance notice of shop restocks, and more. Uh, there will be a link to that in the video description and iCard. Beyond all else, thank you so much for letting me dye yarn as my job and produce this content to share with all of you. I know that I absolutely love what I do and I keep feeling more and more inspired, which given that you know I'm trying to make at least two videos a week is a really, really good thing. 
I cannot wait for you to see some of the videos that I have coming up at the end of this year and then some of the things that I've planned going into 2020. Uh, I just love playing with this color and thank you so much for all of your questions and suggestions and input into the content. Well, one more time, make sure you're subscribed and have notifications turned on. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and thank you so much for watching, everyone. Bye!